If you've ever watched Community on multiple streaming services, then you might have noticed that there are two slightly different versions of the pilot. There's the original version, which is on Amazon Prime and Hulu, and then there's the Netflix version, which is slightly shorter at around 21 minutes versus the other cut's 26. Runtime and scenes being cut is the key difference between these two versions, but there are also some other slight changes. As far as I know, the shorter version is exclusive to Netflix, I can't find any evidence of it existing anywhere else, and the longer cut was the one released in the DVD box set, which makes me think that these changes were made by Netflix themselves. I don't know, if someone has better info, then uh, definitely leave a comment. Whether Netflix made these changes or not, I couldn't find a reason why they would want a shorter version of the pilot. I did my first watch of the show on Netflix, but a while later, a few of my friends were watching Community and I wanted to join them because I love watching my friends watch some of my favorite shows, and I was surprised to see that the cut they were watching had scenes that I had never seen before. At first I thought my recollection of the episode was just faulty, but yeah, Netflix cut a lot of stuff, and I think one's first impression of a show is really important, and I thought it was interesting that my friends had a different one than I did. But just how deep does this mystery go? Which cut is a better version, and are there more interesting topics to make videos about? Yes, probably, but... Fuck it, this is my channel. The first cut scene is right at the beginning with the Dean struggling with the music. I wouldn't call this an essential scene or anything, but it immediately establishes the tone of the show and gives some insight into the Dean. How good is he at running Greendale? Probably this good. It also gives some extra build up to the punchline at the end of the Dean's speech. The Netflix version starts a bit differently with this text saying, Greendale Community College, three blocks from your home. It's a joke, but it also grounds the audience in the world of Greendale. Greendale isn't just a community, it's an accessible one. This wasn't a change that needed to be made, this episode didn't need any changes, but I do kind of prefer the Netflix version of this scene. Also another little interesting thing to note is that they changed the name of this episode from Pilot to Community. Out of all the scenes they cut, the extra banter between Jeff and Duncan are probably the ones I can get behind the most. If Netflix really needed a shorter version of the episode, these were probably the best ones to cut. Even so, we still get some comments giving us a better sense of the type of lawyer Jeff was. I still cannot figure out how you got a jury to connect September the 11th with my DUI. Well, 2002 was a simpler time. I can't show any of these clips in their entirety because Sony doesn't really know what fair use is, but I'll do the best I can. Another change we got was the title sequence. Instead of this time lapse of the campus with the community letters jumping all over the place, we get the fortune teller unfolding to reveal the community logo written in pen that we all know and love. I can definitely get behind this change, it's more akin to the show's intro, which we wouldn't see until episode 2. After the intro and the original cut, we get an extended scene of Pierce Bear and his hot dog underneath the bread, and we also get an extended scene of Jeff introducing himself to Britta. The part where Jeff is faking his certification and introducing himself is identical between both cuts, but the part where Britta introduces herself is done with a different take in each cut. There's then this other scene cut from the Netflix version after this. Were you conditioned to pay for your damn tacos, Seinfeld? Yes, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's Seinfeld. This is the first scene that I believe shouldn't have been cut because it gives us that parallel between Jeff and Abed right from the start, and is just another instance of Jeff being a nerd, which I think is something we would need more of. We also get this interesting transition of Jeff correcting the pronunciation of Seinfeld to him mispronouncing Spanish. Hey. A lot of these cuts are just shortening fluff on the episode, which are the cuts they should be making, but a great deal of them take away substantive material for reasons I'm not entirely sure of. Maybe they're just oblivious to the importance of these scenes. The next noteworthy cut is some Brita exposition dialogue. I joined the Peace Corps. I did a little foot modeling. I got tear gassed at a World Trade rally. Marry me. <laughs> I mean, this cut isn't like a criminal offense like some of the others. Dan Harmon admitted that in the beginning they didn't really have a good hold on Britta's character. This bit of dialogue suggests that Britta is a down-to-earth real activist who is very confident in her moral compass, something that definitely wasn't true for the character she'd become. They might have cut this scene to get rid of some character inconsistency. Abed. Yeah? What you read on that guy? You look like Elizabeth Shue. Again, this isn't something that's like integral to the story, but these type of scenes establish character traits, and this is especially important in the first episode of a show. Parks and Recreation, The Office, How I Met Your Mother, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The pilots of these sitcoms start with characters that already know each other. Community not only has to introduce its characters to the audience, it has to introduce them to one another. All seven of them. 
it can be difficult to build an engaging scenario and dynamic that work to establish characters in just 25 minutes. I don't think the community pilot is perfect, and there's no way Dan Harmon had any idea what the show would become when he wrote it, but I think it did a decent job of establishing the key traits of most of the characters. But Netflix cut a whole three minutes from the episode, and after watching the original cut, the Netflix version feels like it's rushing over key details. This is kind of the most pivotal moment for all the characters, so every scene matters in executing what kind of has to be a long-winded introduction. Since the pilot establishes seven main characters in the first episode, naturally some of them feel a little more sidelined than others. The characters that the pilot really is trying to get us to remember are Jeff, Britta, and Abed. Jeff's snarky attitude and Abed's reliance on pop culture are very much at the forefront. Britta is also there, a lot, but for a while she just kind of exists as Jeff's love interest before eventually becoming a more separable character later in the series. The rest of the Greendale 7, especially Annie and Troy, feel more secondary. They're barely developed in this episode, the pilot goes for a more surface level introduction, which is serviceable for what it's trying to accomplish, but it makes the cut dialogue between these secondary characters all the more damaging. There's a cut line from Annie in this episode talking about being in high school with Troy. And more importantly, I sat behind you in algebra. This info we get about Annie and Troy's history tells us more about the dynamic between these two characters. Annie likes Troy, they sat in the same room for a lot of high school, but the only thing Troy remembers about Annie is her pill addiction. In the Netflix version, all we really know is that Annie and Troy went to the same high school, Troy's a jock, Annie got a pill addiction and dropped out, and Troy lost his scholarship. This little bit of extra dialogue gives us more context about these important characters that aren't treated quite as important in the pilot. Next, there's some cut dialogue from Jeff when Britta is getting on him for causing the group's distress. I did a little bit of lying to get close to you. But how was I supposed to know that you were smart and cool? I mean, you look like Elizabeth Shue. Jeff's mirrored line from Abed saying that Britta looks like Elizabeth Shue is just another line establishing Jeff as a nerd and more connected to Abed's logic than he wants to admit. Should not have been cut. Okay, but this is the worst cut though. This cut scene at the end of the episode is what made me want to make this video in the first place. It makes absolutely no sense why they'd cut this. Let me ask you something. People been calling me about this jacket since I got here, but if I take it off to make them happy, that just makes me weak, right? It doesn't matter. You lose the jacket to please them, you keep it to piss them off. Either way, it's for them. That's what's weak. To me, this scene kind of acts as the redemption or resolution of the episode. At the beginning of the show, Jeff is a guy who doesn't mind manipulating people to get what he wants. It's what his entire career is centered around. The speech where Jeff pronounces everyone a community is an iconic part of the show, but it really doesn't mean anything to Jeff. It's just a bunch of word salad to get Britta to do what he wants. It's not genuine. This scene is where Jeff finally opens up and talks to these people for the sake of talking to them. The same thing kind of happens with Pierce beforehand, but it's much more pronounced here. This scene marks the start of Jeff's real journey to having a community and being more than just a selfish lawyer. It's the first time Jeff has a genuine conversation with someone at Greendale, and this freaking guy, the, 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 this guy, cut it from the episode. Also, Troy is pretty much a nobody in this episode. In the pilot, this is the scene that makes him more than just a high school bitch, as Pierce put it. For all the other cuts, I can think of at least one reason why they might want to cut them, but not this one. There's no excusable reason for this scene being cut. I know it's not a huge deal, but these days most people experience the show on Netflix, and it makes me a bit upset that those people don't experience this moment in the show that I think is important. So, those are all the Netflix cuts, or at least all the ones worth noting. Now, obviously I think the original cut is far superior to the Netflix version, but do I think one of these cuts will make or break someone's first impression of the show? Probably not. A lot of the content in these cut scenes are addressed later in the season, and with much more prominence since the later episodes have more room to take on more in-depth plots. A lot of people don't really get on board with Community after watching the pilot, and that was definitely true for me. I watched the pilot for the first time when I was 13. The version I watched was the original cut, but I wrote it off since I wasn't interested in watching a show about a bunch of people talking at a table. To be fair, my attention span was a lot shorter then. I came back to the show when I was 16 and watched the whole series on Netflix, and for me, my immersion didn't really begin until episode 2. Actually, I think the episode where Community really begins is episode 7, Introduction to Statistics. This might be a good video to make in the future, but I think this is the first episode where it's clear that the writers are really comfortable with these characters and can focus more on doing fun stuff. The ad-libbing between Donald and Danny in the outtakes of this episode is just great. Can I can I ask you something I always want to ask the real Batman? Yeah. Why are your movies so good? 
<laughs> As of this episode, there's a kind of puberty that the show hits because you just I was just like, oh, these characters are real. Yeah. You service them and then the world can be insane. Maybe after all my time obsessing over the show, I was just upset that they robbed me of a few extra scenes with some of my favorite characters that could have been part of my original viewing. They've certainly done worse. Anyway, thanks for watching this kind of niche video. Basically what I'm trying to say is Netflix sucks. The only reason to even use it is because they have community and the IT crowd. They couldn't even remember to upload all the scenes because they're stupid. I'm getting rid of Britta. She's gotta go. I'm getting rid of the bee. She's a no good bee. I'm getting rid of Britta. I'm getting rid of the bee. She's a GDB. Take it, Pierce. What? What? What?